the, the easiest measurement I take regularly is uh, a temperature. So I take ground temperatures all the time. Wise in the mornings, it's a nice 70 degrees for us, but on the ground, it's 55 degrees. Uh, and since they are uh, animals that can't make their own body heat, they have to get the, the heat from their surroundings. Right. Uh, so if the ground's really cold, they don't want to be on it. Um, that's a major uh, thing I'm doing. I'm also counting them. Um, so I'll set up an area, mm -hmm. uh, a standard set area, uh, and walk that several times a day at different temperature points as well and count how many are out during those points. You know, obviously it kind of makes sense. They're probably not going to be out when it's super cold or super hot, but it's worth a shot just seeing if there is a difference. Um, so that's mostly, mostly the main measurements I'm taking. Yeah, I, I'm more interested in the males um, as far as like temperature goes, um, but I am counting the, the female girl. Dead babies in it? Yes, they do. So that's what all that is. is so these tarantulas usually have about 500 eggs in an egg sac. Um, and occasionally uh, the egg sac becomes a dud for whatever reason and they abandon it so they'll push it outside. Um, but tarantula silk specifically for their egg sacs is pretty much exactly the same consistency as a cotton ball um, and it pulls apart like one as well. Wow. Super weird. And it's like, it's tough. You know, you gotta use some amount of force to pull it apart. Huh. So. Yeah. Usually if it's a dud, you can find some opening. Um, so it looks like right there. So something probably got into it and killed some of the babies. So she abandoned it. So then if you just open it up, it's like just a cloud of dust because it's all the babies. Yeah, so compared to other spiders for sure, um, it's actually some of the uh, oldest um, like silk type, if you will, uh, in existence. Uh, so it's got a special, special name um, and all that stuff, but it's just basically a really, really strong silk as opposed to a lot of the like stickier silk you get from more modern spiders. Yeah, so the, the biggest thing is going to be their size difference. Um, males are going to be really skinny. Uh, if you like, think of like a classic Hollywood tarantula, um, those are always the females, just because they're the big, scary-looking ones. She's hungry. So you can see her abdomen, how much smaller it is. Um, so she hasn't eaten in a while, it seems. Um, but she's definitely, definitely a juvenile compared to my hand, right? 
right? The juvenile female. Mm -hmm. She's uh, right here by the burrow. Yeah, and, and so we, yeah, yeah, so juvenile. Um, and she's pr just playing, playing dumb. She's sitting still so the predators don't see her. Mm -hmm. Even though we got the triple light. <laughs> yeah. She's beautiful. She is. Hope she gets a meal. Yeah. It's a hard life out here.